there is a very simple regulation which in in insurance which is called section 45 okay. right which says that after 3 years of continuous renewal in life insurance mm. if you have a death claim after 3 years it cannot be rejected for any reason including fraud wow including fraud including yeah. fraud including fraud but 3 years aapne smoke bhi kiya hai ah. right and you have taken the policy and told the insurer that you have not smoked smoke ah. you have not smoked right and you bought the policy you are not a smoker right ah. and 3 years have passed insurance companies cannot reject the claim it's that clearly mentioned wow. in the insurance yeah. act it's I a legit act which says this folks welcome to paisa paisa i'm yours anupam gupta and on today's episode i'm thrilled as always to welcome back mahavir chopra founder ceo of beshak mahavir welcome back to paisa paisa my favorite guest and thank you so much as always for doing this for our listeners always a pleasure great to have you here Happy fourth birthday at Beshak! Four years have flown by. Yeah, meaning four years. And in fact, uh, by March we'll be five years old. By March we'll yeah, be five so years old. Five years old. Yeah. So that would be like a huge achievement in yeah. my view because we've had uh, so many times we've been told that uh, whatever we are doing is is not viable, and so many times we've been told that uh, you know distribution is the only way to basically make uh, a viable business in the country. so many times we've been told that uh, if you don't sell insurance then how will you be able to ever survive yeah, right yeah and uh, it's good that so far we've been able to prove prove people wrong and uh, we've been able to stick to whatever we wanted to do when we started off yeah. uh, when i when i basically at the end of the day you know uh, reflect back that's the biggest and the most immense satisfaction that i get that at least we are sticking to what we wanted to do and s- try to solve a genuine problem for the customer yeah what are the learnings there i mean what's been happening in the insurance industry for these last 5 years that it's right. also changing a lot any thoughts out there yeah so i think uh, a lot is happening uh, with the new chairman who came in about 4 uh, years plus so at the regulator level the chairman that came in uh, i think he came up with a clear vision that he wants to uh, work on the goal of insurance for all by 2047 and based on that a lot of stuff is happening like it's become very dynamic mm. a lot of changes are being done to solve for multiple problems that existed in the space uh, so uh, ironing out is happening in a lot of uh, places that we see there were problems or issues uh, having said that uh, the biggest problem which i think that needs to be solved is not that that needs more time and more effort to basically get addressed is the problem for trust right yeah. uh, the trust problem that exists in this space lies at the core of beshak exactly and uh, i think uh, a lot of lip service is being done there Uh, but the kind of work that actually should happen to solve for trust mm. which is basically solving for making product simpler improving the communication that happens with the customer making it more empathy based and not basically very uh, you know uh, cold uh, kind of communication that happens today right like for example a policy surrender is happening right and customer wants to surrender per surrender a policy now how do you deal with this it can be dealt with kya hua bhai kyu policy surrender karna hai and the other is no you come to my office come with these forms like lic asks customers to give a reason in writing like an almost like an essay that why do you want to withdraw the money oh right? okay exactly so so these kind of situations huh. when they arise it just shakes up people right so i think these things uh, three things complexity of uh, products huh. uh, claims related issues right yeah. and price hikes Yeah. all the combination oh, of all, yeah. th- all these th- three things is very 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 yeah. disturbing like maine claim nahi kiya to mujhe premium kyu bharna pad raha hai aur maine claim kiya to mujhe claim nahi mil raha hai yeah. and i keep hearing these stories everywhere so i think i have the same question exactly it happened to me once when suddenly boom there was like a 25% hike and i was like what just happened yes. and then i was told there's an age bump or whatever correct correct well, i want you know i want to get into one thing before we proceed with the other questions is this in 5 years technology has yeah. grown fast mm-hmm. in 5 years customer awareness has also grown and yeah. in 5 years the trust issue also is in its own place mm. might not be the best place but it's also not the worst place and mm. someone like mm. you you know who's been in the insurance industry for a very long period of time knows where we started mm. Mm. that was zamane mein kya hota tha that when if you had to buy insurance the kind of paperwork the kind of agents etc the commissions was a totally different ball game from where we are today correct how has technology changed things specifically mm-hmm. from online 
buying of a policy directly by a customer versus trusting an agent or an advisor right so if you see the overall time that it has the online space has existed it started somewhere around 2007 2008 uh and the the idea behind anything going online is to basically help uh create transparency uh bring a lot of democratization of how a product will be chosen and basically solve for customers being able to make decisions on their own so you power customers to make decisions on their own having said that what has actually happened if you see the overall space today after so many years uh we as an industry have just put agents behind a phone mm. and digitally serve customers but the process remains a lot same as it was let's say even 10 12 years ago wow of all the things i didn't expect you to say that right. so maybe things are yeah go on yeah, sorry the the, po- the positives are that the calls are getting recorded right so there is some amount of basically uh, positive uh in terms of uh, let's say if something goes wrong you have something to retrieve and basically look at and even the person who's selling is also conscious that it's getting recorded so that is a great positive and that you can see stuff and buy is the second positive mm-hmm. but because of two reasons one is that the customer is impatient uh, which is also a very big reason why insurance feels so uh you know as a product uh, feels like uh, you don't get what you want half of the times it's also because the customer is impatient and lazy does not want to understand the product Correct, to be very yeah. honest so the customer does not want to understand the product at the same time the guy who's selling also wants to sell so there is a clear uh, conflict of interest right meaning one guy who's basically wanting to sell fast because they don't want to give information and the other guy in fact complimentary we hai ke does not want to listen and just wants to buy mm. in that kind of a situation what's happening is that neither customers are wanting to read to a large extent and the guy who's selling also then goes very fast and sells the policy so in that kind of a situation this is what arises right that it though it is on the internet and though it is digital as we say 85% of the digital policies that are being sold i would say more than that would be policies which are sold in a similar format how it would have been sold face to face except like i said the recording that happens what about the costing does it make a difference to me because at product to product how does it differ yeah but uh, meaning in my view uh, pricing in insurance is the worst thing to even look at okay. right because okay. finally what comes down to is that insurance is not like mutual funds where you basically just buy something and then it, like in mutual funds most of the stuff post purchase can be handled by you even on an app right meaning yeah. go and pause an sip yeah. start an sip redeem draw, whatever redeem, yeah, yeah, everything yeah, can be done yahan yeah. pe actual claim jab hoga that time the insurance company is paying from their pocket they are not paying your money uh, to yeah, you back yeah, yeah. they are paying their money to you back right so it's a loss for the insurance company right so that's where basically subjectivity arises ki ye claim pay karna hai nahi karna hai and that's where you cannot completely depend on an individual on a phone but yeah. have someone on your side to take yeah. care of claim so when you look at the difference it may look like uh, the price difference that you look at in a digi- in a digital mutual fund that you buy that difference still is fine but here the price that you pay which is different is also taking away a service which yeah. you will be without and then you are on your own fighting with someone who has a vested interest not to pay the claim yeah. Yeah. which is not a good place to be in yeah yeah i want to get into claim stories right. you know i feel like this can become into some cid type <laughs> tv series also the way that yeah. you run the, and you've got a lot of traction also on this Correct. i mean you've got Correct. like a lot of in, yeah, internet yeah, yeah, yeah. folks claim stories are like the name goes actual stories of people who have insurance health life yeah who filed a claim and then had a very tough time and we're going to take two examples right now on this first So what was the idea behind claim stories yeah, so where does this go this goes on your twitter or it goes where it goes on twitter it also goes on linkedin ah, so it okay. also goes on linkedin okay. and we've tried to do some stories on instagram also in a pictorial form so real life real life claims uh, real life claims so okay. the idea was very to similar share. that ah. yeah meaning people are so glued into southern india and crime patrol right <laughs> and uh, they want to hear stories right and we said that why not bring in something uh, like we have been trying to quote on quote preach people about insurance for a long time hmm. and what we saw is that probably this is not something which is 
फॉर कंजम्पन फॉर अ वेरी लार्ज सेट ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन राइट इट कुड बी गुड फॉर पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू लर्न हु हैव एन इंटेंट टू लर्न बट वॉट अबाउट पीपल हु आर स्लाइटली पैसिव सो वॉट कैन वी डू फॉर दैम सो दिस हैपन्ड ओवर एन एक्सीडेंट लाइक माई सोशल मीडिया लीड वॉज नॉट एन ऑफिस and the research team and i decided that okay let's do something like that and we just built this one thread or twitter thread over like uh one friday evening and okay. posted it yeah. and it did well so and yeah. then we picked it up in fact this friday it will be the 52nd episode of uh, nice. claim story so it's like one year now that we've running claim story why we claim stories i wanted to pick up two important episodes or other two right. case studies specifically one on health and one on life sure on health there is a very interesting um claim story that i read about someone who had his claim rejected mm-hmm. because the disease happened between a time frame between right. applying for the policy and getting the policy correct this sounds quite weird can you just tell us what it is about right so so uh, basically what happened in this case is that the customer bought a policy and basically when while buying the policy they filled a proposal form and they submitted the proposal form and the insurance company was basically uh, processing the policy right meaning basically understanding the uh, the proposal form and then evaluating what kind of cover to give okay and that process takes like 3 4 days or it could take more time also in that period basically there seems to be some kind of a disease that this person uh, was diagnosed with right and then this customer did not inform about this disease while the policy was getting issued uh, and then about some time later there was a claim that came for this specific disease that happened sure. right then insurance company came to know that this happened during that period at the time which happened between the customer applying for the policy yeah. and the policy getting issued right, right. uh when when uh, the insurance company looks at this and from a contract perspective if you look at the policy document and the uh, the policy wording yeah. it clearly mentions this that while we are taking the proposal form today and we'll be processing the policy in a few days if there is any disease that happens during this period in the interim. that would also be considered as a part of the evaluation so you need the customer is supposed to inform okay. about this okay. so insurers know that this could happen probably it happens in one in million cases yeah. but insurers know that this kind of situation and this customer happen. did not inform and this customer did not inform oh, and uh, so basically customers don't know about this right yeah. meaning uh, typically uh, they should have asked right a customer should typically ask or they should have if they have an agent or a expert they should have informed the expert and asked the expert what to do about it sure but it seems in this situation they did not inform okay. and the claim got rejected the customer obviously felt dejected that you know why is my claim getting rejected where i have given my th- st- side of the stuff right mm. it's like taking a loan i have given my documents now i'm waiting for the loan to get approved it's like that mm. so why should i now go and give more documents or give more information yeah. from an insurance company's point of view they are saying that till i don't issue the policy the risk has not started the risk has not started in terms of that i have not effectively covered you so whatever happens before that is considered something that you need to inform me so that is like a uh, conflict of interest between two parties one thinking that i am now given everything the other company the company feeling that i should have given i should have been given all the information take away for the listener out here the take away for the listener is uh, be be very clear that you need to over inform the insurer okay like just think about situations where if you have a doubt whether you should inform the insurer or not inform yeah. like i get a lot of this question that during renewal hmm. do i need to inform an insurer about a new disease or a lifestyle issue or change in occupation or change in location this is for medical for medical for term also oh, okay. a lot of people ask me this question like i'm traveling abroad hmm. what do i do hmm. so the technical answer of this is that you don't need to inform Okay. there is no uh, requirement after the policy is issued that you need to inform the insurance company but what i have realized after so many years of working with insurers and looking at claims is that it's great to do one small email to the insurance company telling them that hey you know what this has happened i am now diagnosed with diabetes mm. there is no harm in that because it creates a nice time trail with you and the insurance company in terms of information and communication so when a claim comes let's say even 10 years later a claim comes you can show them that you know ye aisa jadu se abhi nahi hua hai mm. i gave you this paper mm. around this time and with documents mm. it creates trust you also have to create trust with the insurance company so i feel that if it's a harmless one two line email it's worth sending but my premium won't go up your premium cannot go up ha acha okay just Absolutely. checking that yeah that's a good question premium cannot go up they cannot cancel your policy Haan. they cannot do anything Haan. 
you are giving them information they are supposed to just take that information right. as per laws once the policy is issued insurance company can only cancel the policy if you stop paying premiums yeah. or you're doing some kind of fraud they come to know that you've basically willingly dis- in, dis- did not disclose something yeah. you hid something yeah. and they come to know then they can cancel the policy but, but for all practical purposes can't. the contract that you originally signed is the contract that is there yes yeah. okay absolutely. now the life insurance one is even more interesting mm. um unfortunate of course because you had a wife who was fighting for the claim yeah for her husband who unfortunately <coughs> passed away 5 days after taking the life right. insurance policy tell us right so in this this is a very unfortunate case actually because the customer uh, uh bought the policy 5 days later because of covid passed away the policy probably would have got have would have gotten issued at a particular time right so term insurance policies typically take some time to get issued so usually i am assuming that it would be 25 days or 30 days when the customer would have taken a decision mm. right to buy the policy uh the insurer basically uh, felt that uh, this is something which is was already existing and the customer has just bought this policy to make a claim right and to take care of their family uh but the sad part is that insurers sometimes do this and specifically it happens in term insurance that whenever they see an early claim they just uh, press the uh, you know uh, the panic button mm. they feel that any early claim is a case of fraud uh, oh. right or they feel that was the policy was bought only for making a claim right my view i have now basically after talking to so many people customers i feel that insurers should do some profiling right they should look at customers what kind of background they come from kitna padhai kiya hai what is the quality of life they are living demographics and demographics yeah. dekho everything yeah, yeah, yeah and then you make such decisions yeah. right i have similarly i have seen a claim of a very very senior official uh, working in a multinational company very respected person okay and uh, like you cannot even imagine that this guy can have any unethical stuff that he will do and huh. for some reason he was in some i think uh, a uh, southeast asian country okay. and he was swimming uh, in the e- in the late evening right uh, and uh, uh, he got hit by something in the pool or something and he passed away in the pool hmm. right ab ye jo situation hai shouldn't the claim get paid like in 3 days or 5 days right but this went into investigation ha huh? right okay. this went into investigation right wow. abhi isme what is the kind of investigation that you can i do? have no idea yeah right yeah, yeah. so when we talk to insurers is a sir early claim hai early claim i agreed but uh-huh. look at the profile of the person look at how it has happened i just take this assume that life insurance companies have these risk models exactly. already yeah that's what the whole actuary thing is based on about correct. profiling demographics probability statistics correct he, the the main reason why this happens is that the india mein fraud hota to hai right yeah. we all know that there is a good percentage of people who are looking at schemes to make money right it is a very truth about the country mm. and i'm not like saying that other countries mein nahi hota but i know only india as much Obviously. as i know any other country i know yeah. more about india and i know that whenever there is a scheme or something that can be made into a scheme we are very creative people right <laughs> as a country we are very creative so insurers also have that risk they are also at the receiving end for Correct. such things and yeah. then they hence they have created their own ways of protecting themselves yeah. but that's what i'm trying to say in this specific case also which you are talking about it was very very clear the paperwork was very clear everything was very underst- it could be understood in like in in a span of like one day's time That's to genuine. understand that it's a genuine case yeah. and the claim could have got paid but it took yeah. a long time for the insurance company to get convinced That's and the, the, person, yeah, the consumer the, courts to yeah. come into picture and all that no i don't think there are any lessons here for the, for for mm-hmm. our viewers the, that just... the the lessons are that the courts do work the ombudsman does work okay. so fine meaning insurer use will the have system. use the system yeah. and I, i am telling you this for 100% cases which are valid claims to be paid mm. they have gotten paid after or before the fight has happened with the insurance company through the systems that yeah. exist yeah. it is something that you need to be persistent and that's why again it may sound like a plug but i am not saying this because we run a company where you know experts are you know we we impanel experts but even an expert who is in your area mm. having someone who knows the job right yeah. who knows how insurance companies work who knows the language of an insurance company who knows the regulations like there is a very simple regulation which in, in insurance which is called section 45 okay. right which says that after Three years of continuous renewal in life insurance. Mm. If you have a death claim after three years, it cannot be rejected for any reason, including fraud. 
इंक्लूडिंग फ्रॉड इंक्लूडिंग फ्रॉड इंक्लूडिंग फ्रॉड बट थ्री आपने स्मोक भी किया है राइट एंड यू हैव टेकन द पॉलिसी एंड टोल्ड द इंश्योर दैट यू नॉट स्मोक स्मोक यू हैव नॉट स्मोक्ड राइट एंड यू बॉट द पॉलिसी यू आर नॉट अ स्मोकर राइट and 3 years have passed insurance companies cannot reject the claim it's that clearly mentioned wow. in the insurance yeah. act it's right. a legit act which says this right but customers don't know this and then we see 6 year 7 year continuous paid policies also going through investigations wow. that there's no need of an investigation because the law says that you have to pay right so ye time pe you having someone with you makes a lot of difference yeah. and it is priceless honestly and we've seen this and so the learning is that one to fight cases where you feel that it is genuine and payable mm. these cases that we all mentioned have got paid finally it did not not get paid it got paid second is having someone on sure, your side sure, sure. i for, i like if you have someone who is from the insurance space that is also fine you don't need to yeah, yeah. buy a policy from an expert but having someone you know who can whom you can Guide lean you. to yeah, yeah. yeah that is very important theek hai before we go into the break mahavir what happened at star health it is uh, i can't understand anything out there right. when this happened on twitter there were so many parts of it that made no sense to me first you've got an employee of an insurance company then you've got his boss and then there's something happening something happening and then boom yeah. there is this file on the internet which has so many details and everything i was like kya ho raha hai yahan pe yaar right what happened right so meaning uh, honestly is i think this case uh, there are multiple parts to this right meaning the insurer will But also have their side quote, of the story as a quote it's about <laughs> leakage of private yeah. confidential data from a health insurer out in the market yeah go on yeah. please so i think uh, this is just the tip of the surface honestly if i if i tell you uh, data about every insurance customer and the policy that they own with the expiry dates are available right it's not necessarily star health that is whose data is not uh, whose data is available but if you also look at your own renewal mm. times right when car insurance comes for renewal or your health insurance comes for renewal you Full get ca- calls from other call yeah. centers yeah, yeah. now whether they are insurance company call centers or whether they are basically dsas of insurance companies you are getting calls from people who don't who shouldn't be having your information but they have information in terms of everything they have information about uh your uh, uh expiry date they know what who are covered in your policy they have dates of birth and everything right which is uh i think as a country the seriousness of data and how data should be protected is very casual honestly yeah. i feel matlab yeah. when i see this happening now the private insurance industry is 23 years old hmm. right it hmm. started in somewhere in you know, 2001 yeah so ab ye sab bahana bhi dena is not right to say ke no no we are learning and all that hmm. come on you are 23 years old yeah. as an industry you should have figured out all these things and what are you managing apart from data yeah. you are managing money of the customers and data and it's there is no excuse that can happen in terms of like you can give that can say that okay ho gaya hai yeah. uh, so i think from a overall industry perspective uh, the seriousness and the culture around digital uh, security mm. is is pretty average and yeah. i'm being kind when i say that yeah. it needs that, an overall yeah. it 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 needs the framework itself needs to be overhauled yeah. the industry the consumer the cops and everything yeah. basically Yeah, on, apart sorry. from framework, I think I am talking more about from a framework to ban jata hai. Mere view hai culture nahi hai. मतलब वो जो एक there is a culture that boss, this is data. नहीं, yeah. this is customers' health Now information. Now nobody takes it seriously. वो ही yeah, नहीं yeah, है. मतलब yeah, 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 yeah. Excel में if you are able to download it mm. and carry it with you wherever you want, mm. that's that's something which is super serious. So folks, we're going to take a small break out here. On the other side, we're going to talk about specifics on life insurance, health insurance, and much more. When I say specifics, it's stuff like the size of your health. cover and much more don't go anywhere we'll be right back and welcome back why well, you tweeted recently about 1 crore ka health cover that mm. number sounds pretty big okay but yeah. you had a certain logic to it and i'm hearing this discussion happening more and more i'm reading about it people who stay in metro cities for example where we know healthcare is expensive yeah. and 1 crore you know honestly i'm 52 i know yeah. that it's it's not such a big amount but probably for the demographic in india for younger people it just sounds A, like a lot of money you also got a lot of feedback on that tweet of yours about this so you want to just talk about this i mean what sure. made you put this out um, yeah, so how expensive uh, is it who is it ideal yeah. for so unfortunately i have seen like around seven hospitalizations in the last two years in my family uh, and i am seeing that there are two aspects to uh, hospitalization right one is that you don't choose the hospital you choose the doctor 
and the doctor is then attached to a hospital right and the second is also connected which is that you the doctor that you choose is based on the quality of care that you want to give to your family and usually all of us want to give really good quality of care to our families when you do that then you don't worry about cost right yeah. then you say ke mujhe acha room chahiye i want to ensure that you know everybody is taken care of yeah. the, the health is taken care of there are no risks involved uh, and when that happens i have seen that cost can go up significantly right when a uh, simple uh, claim for a urinary tract infection uti uh, uti uh, for 3 days in in a hospital cost 1.3 lakhs today right wow 1.3 okay. lakh rupees right uh-huh. uh, so when you see these costs right and when you see yourself as a behavior you are not looking at the cost you are looking at basically who's the best doctor which yeah. is the best hospital yeah. and then you don't worry about the cost and these are corporate hospitals they are definitely charging you more than typical let's say a nursing home hospital but you don't want to take a risk yeah. so that is the first thing that it stemmed from that you, you risk nahi lena chahte ho tum acche se acche hospital mein jana chahte ho and most of us are a lot of us as migrants now we don't are not from a sit or a, in a location yeah. where we probably were in childhood so we don't know those small hospitals which you can trust i now live in a place where i don't cannot trust the small hospitals in my area and hence i will go to a hirandani in pawai yeah. right so in a similar situation what happens is that you don't then compromise on the cost side sure uh, the other aspect is we are living in the most random times ever right and obviously as we go forward it will further get random you see all the four there are four aspects to basically uncertainty that can be there one is basically lifestyle uh, the uh, other aspect is basically our stress levels mm-hmm. uh, pollution right and the fourth is randomness in itself right covid 19 nobody could have thought of yeah. so when the uncertainty is such high at such a high level and the randomness is such a high level you really don't know after 10 years what kind of epidemic pandemic is going to come you don't know what kind of healthcare facilities you will need mm. you don't know whether you can actually survive in a small hospital or you always will have to go to a large hospital and what are the kind of modern treatments that you will need and uh, the cost of the treatment sure so whenever anybody asks me ke what is the cover that you should buy i always talk from a minimum point of view maximum is honestly whatever is available and whatever is affordable yeah. so that's why the point keep that 1 crore is actually sounding very high today as a health insurance cover because everybody knows term insurance 1 crore ka lena chahiye health insurance 1 crore nobody talks about yeah, yeah. or very few people talk about but 1 crore is also going to be less when you put some kind of time value to it healthcare inflation is at 14% according to a lot of reports when you put it as a as a as a as a number mm. आज जो भी वॉट एवर यूर स्पेंडिंग इज गोइंग टू कॉस्ट ट्वाइस इन सिक्स इयर्स राइट सो वेन यू लुक एट दैट इट सेल्फ इवन लुकिंग एट फिफ्टी लैक्स टूडे इन सिक्स सेवन इयर्स दैट्स गोइंग टू बिकम वन करोड एक्जैक्टली अ हार्ट ट्रांसप्लांट विच इज अ वेरी सीरियस थिंग ऑफ कोर्स एंड आई एम नॉट सींग एवरीबडी इज गोइंग टू गो थ्रू इट बट इट कॉस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव लैक्स टूडे राइट सो अभी आप बात करो कि लेट से एवरीबडी यूज टूडे बाइंग हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस इज एट द एज ऑफ अराउंड थर्टी थर्टी फाइव सो वेन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सिक्सटी इट्स गोइंग टू बी ट्वेंटी फाइव इयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ <laughs> so what is costing 25 lakhs today what is I, it going to cost i don't want to even comprehend those numbers exactly that that's the reason i think whatever is the highest cover available huh. and if you can afford it you should buy what's the premium i'm looking at for 1 crore so I, if i i know it depends on a lot of yeah yeah so it's like an example and, yeah. like for example if a 30 year old individual is buying a 10 lakh cover it will cost around 10 to 12000 rupees 1 crore cover is not going to cost 10 times it will cost 2 and a half times so basically around 10 to 12000 will become 25 to 30000 oh so that's interesting okay yeah. so, so it's not delta. exponential that way yeah so your delta is basically from 10 to 25 which is 15k but your cover is going up from 10 lakhs to 1 crore yeah. so it's a it's a that's always the thing now you just feel that people pay a lot of attention on the premium not yeah. on the cover yeah right yeah. related to that my question every time that you've come on this show has been one standard because i feel that that is a question that is of the most importance it hits us at a time when we are the most vulnerable when we are sitting in a hospital our loved one needs a lot of care and we are faced with a bill yeah. we of course try and clear the bill in some way or the other you know use a credit card or get some money out there yeah. cashless hua to great okay mm-hmm. nahi hua to i mean i've been in situations where it's not there mm. so the money comes out of my pocket correct. which means that i have to file a claim mm. how do i get that claim approved efficiently 
first i know it's a laundry list yeah, but yeah. let's just recap but let, it. let's say let's look at it from a very broad three points that are very important one is that intimate the insurer right even if the, there's no cashless just ensure that you've intimated the, the insurer the minute you wheel in into the hospital as soon as you come to know like if honestly if it's a planned hospitalization in a hospital which does not have cashless if you come to know 5 days in advance inform 5 days in advance okay. tell the insurer so it's 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 something that immediately drives some amount of trust between you and the insurance company that hey you know what this is happening a lot of impersonation happens in hospitalization claims impersonation in, impersonation claims hoti hai insurance mein jahan pe the person who is actually getting hospitalized ha huh. is someone else and the policy is being used of someone else wow. and this happens in bombay kind of city also okay right so when you intimate a claim the insurer has the opportunity to actually even verify whether you are the the person who is getting hospitalized like means giving you some yeah, yeah, yeah. additional please, perspective please, please, so yeah, that yeah. you know you come to know kyu yeah, janna hai insurance yeah, company ko yaar yeah. matlab what is the insurance company role are they going to come and actually cure me no like these are the questions i get on twitter why does an insurance company want to know when i'm getting hospitalized but this Crazy. is the reason they yeah, want to I mean, basically there are insurance companies who visit who send people to visit the hospital verify yeah. right to verify whether yeah, actually yeah, it is yeah, happening yeah, yeah, yeah. hota hai india mein and it's happening i'm telling you in bombay city i've seen this happening right so that is the okay, most that's one. that is okay, one yeah. the second is paperwork jo hai that is the super super important thing and it may sound like a very broad thing that i'm saying but ensuring that you are very uh, uh diligent on paperwork is something that can help you a lot so for example as soon as the disease first got diagnosed mm. right uske aas paas ke jo papers hai from there that entire paper trail from there to the time the hospitalization happened and the discharge happened if you maintain all those papers which is largely three kinds of papers one is basically all the reports mm. the second is all the prescriptions mm. which is all the doctor notes right and the third is all the invoices and receipts right? wow right so okay. if you keep all these three things That's properly it's a tough call but okay it's sure it's a tough call for yeah. a lot of claims which are long term long sure, claims like sure. i have got diagnosed with diabetes today and let's say 10 years later if i'm going for a diabetes related hospitalization stuff yeah. but for the claims that like i saw those claims where meaning the last uh, claims that i mentioned in the last two years that i've seen most of the claims happened in a set of time where you know uh, 15 days it took from the person first having some symptom mm. to the time that person got hospitalized mm. and then got discharged in 3 4 days right that's the typical cycle yeah, and actually so, it's not that difficult you just take a photo and boom yes it says you have mobile and that's it correct. you don't have to think about it correct okay go on please. so insurer basically wants to see what is the origin of the of the uh, of the disease so that they know that this has happened mostly after you bought the policy so that they can verify whether yep. the claim was payable or not second is they want to see the trail in terms of why this expense happened which mm. is where the prescriptions help that the doctor will basically put notes ke why they want to do certain tests and all that and the third is that they want to see so insurance companies employ doctors right yep. Yep. they may not be the best of the doctors but they do have really legit doctors who look at this on a day to day basis sure. they will basically see the trail to understand okay ye proper chain of treatment hai yeah. right and this is the kind of expense that has happened and mm. when that happens then you don't have any issues in claim so i am though i am from the industry and so people would feel that mera claim hai to pay ho jata hoga and honestly ho jayega agar i pick up the phone and speak to a few people but mm. all the claims that i have made i have not picked up the phone and spoken to in out of the seven out of the seven only one time i have called someone to okay. take help okay all the other six claims i have done as a regular individual just because i also want to experience how it how happens it feels, yeah, yeah. and it just happens it happens if you do the paperwork right so well, system works Haan. yeah to prr ke hisab se main yaad rakhta hu usko to prr is basically prescription reports and receipts okay. just ensure that you uh, keep all those in place so we got the first is inform the hospital second yeah. is maintain a good file or a good uh, you know paperwork and trail is there anything else apart from that meaning uh, the person who's talking to the uh, hospital while let's say if i am only hospitalized right and the person who's talking on my behalf to the hospital should be someone who's also very uh, diligent and not careless i'll tell you a lot of claims get rejected because the person who is talking to the doctors gives some random information about you which mm. is not true mm. like i'll tell you about me right i don't have uh, uh, chai with sugar mm. right i have chai without sugar and a lot of my friends the first thing they say when they see me having chai with no sugar is that are you got diabetes hai kya so nahi mujhe diabetes nahi i don't have diabetes now imagine a situation where someone is seeing me having 
चाय विदाउट शुगर एंड आई एम नाउ हॉस्पिटलाइज एंड द डॉक्टर आस्क के इनको कुछ डिजीज है क्या तो बोलते हैं सर ये चाय के साथ शुगर नहीं रहते शायद इनको डायबिटीज है जस्ट सेइंग दिस हैज जस्ट बुट द क्लेम इन अ डिफरेंट टैंजेंट बिकॉज इंश्योरेंस कंपनी अगेन इट्स लाइक अ पैनिक बटन फॉर द इंश्योरेंस कंपनी इंश्योरेंस कंपनी को कुछ भी डेटा मिला विच इज इनकन्सिस्टेंट फ्रॉम वॉट एवर न्यू that's where help breaks loose actually and then है. it becomes very complicated so i think that is the third okay. thing okay. being very careful at the time of submission of claims and information that you give to the hospital and the insurance company again becomes very very important okay last couple of questions one always my standard question hmm. um how to choose the right medical insurance policy if you have a checklist right. out there and similarly how to choose the right life insurance policy right so uh, in case of uh, health insurance policy three four major things that uh, you should always look at one is we spoke at length on the cover yeah. don't compromise on the cover as much as possible uh subconscious level pe we all don't want to spend on insurance because we feel it's a waste of money but i am telling you from now my experience of around 22 23 years of being in the space is that money in insurance does not actually go waste if you've taken the right uh, kind of cover and you've done the right kind of job right that's the first thing The second is basically financial limits. समझ लो policy के. So understand all the financial limits in the policy. There are multiple types of financial limits in the policy. So there is a room rent limit. There are limits which are around uh, your surgeries, right? There could be other kind of conditions in the policy which could say that for a specific kind of treatment there could be uh, you know we'll pay only fifty percent of the cover. Okay. So all those uh, limitations is what you need to understand. Financial limits mm-hmm. of the policy you need to understand really well. uh once you've understood these two things then the third thing that you could basically look at is understanding the exclusions well okay right? okay uh most of the policies which are really good policies uh would have minimum exclusions in the policy uh and would be easy to read also matlab when you read you'll come to know that there are some of them which would be very easy to read uh even if you're not able to do it again taking a help of an expert could be another way to understand that so ek bar ye teen cheez i have put put to uh, put in place the fourth thing that comes into play would be finding the right insurer okay right? so not having the right insurer but having the right policy sure uh, and having the uh, wrong policy with a gr- great insurer in both the situations you will have issues right yeah. so good combination of having the right policy with the right insurer is very important finding the right insurer will require you to understand the track record of the insurance company so there are a couple of ratios that you should look at in short basically uh if you really want to do a scientific way of buying the policy uh the right way to do it is kind of going to be like you studying health insurance and doing it yourself yeah uh but uh first understanding the policy what are the broad contours of the policy second is understanding what is going to be paid not going to be paid hmm. finding the insurer's track record and then buying the policy would be the right way to buy the policy life life ke case mein i think it's pretty simple because uh, let's say if you're looking at only term life uh, then the two three things that you should basically look at uh, would be one again in that in term life specifically insurer plays a very large role in my okay, view okay okay uh, because uh, having an insurer which basically has a good track record will play a very good role because by and large the policies are very simple hmm. like very simple to understand like there are not many conditions in the policy uh, the second would be customizations that you could do so a lot of people don't know customizations that are available in term insurance like for example you could customize how many years you want to pay the premium sure you could customize the payout also like okay. for example i could say that my family should get money over a period of time instead of getting it in a lump, lump sum, sum yeah, right yeah, those yeah. kind of things you could do okay. so customization is the second thing or of course just go to beshak <laughs> beshak is already doing a lot of this work by right connecting the user of the forum with an advisor who will right. then walk you through how or the right product for you right right, right. and last thing is you guys are doing a lot of stealth work <laughs> which involves buying actual policies yeah, what's yeah. that what's what's happening there yeah so so the idea of beshak was always that uh, when i when i'm talking to you about how to buy a health insurance how to buy a term insurance 
when i'm talking subconsciously and consciously i know that it's very difficult right to do all the research to do everything that i mentioned and that's why the idea of besha came from there is that can a company or a set of people do this for the customer so mm. that the customer mm. does not have to do mm. it and then rely on this company saying that tune sab kuch kar liya ab tu bata and that's why we built besha on that ground right so uh, when we think of what kind of research we can do we decided that let's not just do research on the product but also on the capabilities of the insurance company in actual on ground work right so couple of things that we do we actually do audits of the insurance company's toll free number like we check oh, okay. if the insurance company says 8 am to 8 pm uh. monday to sunday uh-huh. we have a bot that we have created which actually calls the insurance company at wow. different times to find out if their human actually picks up the call like ab diwali hai to ab will, will the insurance company pick up the call uh, tomorrow at evening let's say 7 pm is uh. what we actually test so okay. we have this bot that we have created similarly uh, uh, we had this view that if i want to find out how efficient is insurance company is the best way to do is is to actually unbox right okay. the entire process so we said let's buy policies right so we actually go undercover nobody knows no no insurance company knows and we go as a regular customer and nice. go through the entire process of buying the policy like i will call the call center speak to the call center ask questions which a regular question customer would ask hmm. verify whether those questions are asked rightfully or not need analysis kiya ki nahi kiya ki aise hi koi product de diya all that we check how did i get the policy how did i can if i'm can later on we cancel the policy obviously do sure, sure, sure. waste the money yeah, yeah. so we cancel the policy when we cancel the policy what the process <laughs> of okay. refund right and you'll be very surprised that there are certain companies which are very fast at issuing policies huh. and these are very big names but when it comes to cancellation they become like uh, <laughs> small school kids learning like process they, for yeah, you also yeah like they don't want to return the money so they, you have to write emails and all that so our team may we have researchers who are very now accustomed to doing all this so they have templates of emails to write to the ceo write to the head of the department and all that and do stuff but we actually come to know on yeah. ground what how an insurance company behaves versus what it's talking about let's say in a brochure or in a youtube video fantastic last question standard question for all our guests last time you were here you gave us alchemy by rory yeah. sutherland correct i mean now you're more into spiritual what What, what's yeah, on your so bookshelf? Yeah, so I have or... become a very big uh, Osho fan, uh-huh. and uh, I'm just enjoying uh, listening to him. It he calms me down a lot. Is that his voice on the audio book? Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. So awesome. uh, Osho basically never wrote a book. He uh, spoke and okay. he gave discourses, and there are around 150 books that got created out of the discourses. Right. So you're picking it up from YouTube or somewhere else? So no, I go on Audible and okay. basically one book I'm reading on Audible and some of which who are which are not available, I basically then download on their website. Huh. That way. So right now I'm reading Ashtavakra uh, Mahagita. Wow. It's basically a book uh, which is obviously in an audio form. It's the it's the uh, it's a it's a form of Gita which was the reason why Swami Vivekanand got transformed oh. into what he became. That so is this Osho narrating it or his Osho his? narrating it? Yeah. Oh, that must be wild. Yeah, 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 amazing. So it 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 takes a while because he's very slow when he speaks, uh, uh. Uh, and I listen to it even further slow, which is very weird. My when my family members listen to it, they feel what are you doing? Like I listen to Osho at point eight x. He's already at point eight, right? Uh, the but the uh, world like listens to this podcast at 1.5 and here you are at <laughs> point 8 i love that yeah, yeah. no What because uh, every word that he chooses and the how he speaks uh, is phenomenal meaning okay. only just the choice of words mm. like and he speaks without a any space or uh, uh, oh, that happens in his and speaks for one and a half hours at a shot mm. and uh, the choice of words and what he speaks is just so amazing that i half of the times i have to rewind and listen to it again so, so i've become a huge fan i would have now heard almost like 100 hours plus of osho wow yeah. it's been a while that means yeah yeah and uh, i and i'm pretty sure it's enriching it's amazing on yeah. that amazing recommendation and enriching experience folks that is it that is a wrap on this episode of paisa paisa my guest mahavi chopra returning guest always great to have you your founder ceo bishak mahavi really thank you so much for doing this for our listeners thank you so much